we did the thing where Bob and I am gradually feeling more confident with the whole overdrive situation gradually yeah I did complete this segment maybe that involved killing enemies here that were for that one affinity mission should I go check for like the probes over here maybe maybe because again like this game is very much like the sooner that you can get probes down the better what is my blade level at anyway hmm hmm because yeah once we get to the next blade level we can get to mechanical level five which i didn't realize was a thing i thought that four was the max level i was wrong so whoops uh, so if we can get to mechanical level five that'll let us put down that one probe i can't tell if these hills are alive quite frankly it's one of those kinds of deals yeah let's see about placing down some other probes Let's see about placing some other probes here, mayhap. Because the more of those we have, the more revenue and stuff we get. Don't have any moranium right now. Yeah, so it does seem like it does take a while for each for each tick. For each tick of gaining moranium and stuff. You guys are pretty high level. There's gotta be like a thing like right over in here, right? So as long as none of you guys hate me, then I should be able to run over and install this unless it's a level 5 thing. Which I seriously hope not. Yeah, no one's gonna be attacking me on my way to this, it seems like. I won't be getting close enough to any of them. Those legs look like they wouldn't support that weight. Yeah, like this. Boop. Sweet. There we go. Now then. Maybe I'll try this one next? Like, this one has gotta be, like, up, right? Up on the cliff face above. But this one over here should be obtainable? Probably? I hope. Are there any missions I have right now that I want to set as active? Um, A the Blade who went missing in Noctilum Sunlit Spring. Oh yeah, we need to, uh, we need to go do stuff in Noctilum. And, uh, do a certain affinity mission to be able to do the next chapter. I did not do either of those. Whoops. Yeah, I should probably be doing things in Noctilum, most likely. And the next time we can do the Affinity Mission, do Chapter 6. And I think it's... I think that it's after you do Chapter 6 that you get access to the mission that lets you unlock skills. So, doing... Saving the stuff that I'm doing right now for after getting skills would probably be the better strategy anyway. Considering it was gonna make Exploration Leagues easier. Meridium Hoarder! I get freaking 12k meranium in one tick now! Oh my good gracious! Alright, yeah, it seems like our data probes are set up pretty well, I guess. I can just go around you, right? Because, yeah, it seems like this one thing where Bob is up around this way somewhere. Oh, this is a... This is a whole prone camp. Oh, uh, I wonder if there's like a story mission that takes here takes place here at some point he lolls stronghold huh can i just take this thanks just in case just in case it's always good to be uh stockpiling some tp along the side uh-oh what that saw me the turret up above <laughs> right as lynn says that she gets knocked out Okay, we're fine. We're fine, spore balloon, huh? Can I harvest this thing? Without these guys noticing me? No archaeological level 2. So, it's up there somewhere. This one probe. So as long as nothing spots me. As long as we take this sneaky sneaky. I don't think I can jump this. Yeah, dang. Can't quite jump to there. Is that a way up? Whoa, screen flashing. Yeah, but not across to where the probe most likely is. Hmm. This way? Okay. You suspect nothing? Right? What? Where's this probe at, huh? So, like, more this... Oh, it's over there. Okay. Can I sneak to it? Maybe? That'd be pretty cool. And it would unlock a fast... I thought these were collectibles over here. It would unlock a fast travel point right into a, right into the heart of this area. Oh, I gotta take that bridge across there, it looks like. 
to make it up. Huh, and for that, I need to go up that way. Hmm. Whoa, okay. Okay. Yeah. This seems pretty a-okay. Oh, there's that turret from before. Can I just like... Oh. Yes. Okay. Now it's right there. As long as it's not mechanical level five. It's right there. Okay. You better not see me, Mr. Dudo. Oh, can't quite jump up to there. Whoa, let's not fall off. I, I should be able to get this right. FN site 409. Heck yeah. There we go. Was this a... Uh... Oh, this is a whole kind of set of probes, I guess. Hold on. How many research probe G1s do I have? Still just two. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. I can show that there. So I'd be able to make a group here. If only. If only I'd be able to make a group. Hmm. This duplicator probe would easily be better used elsewhere. Where it can, like, reach out to affect multiple things. Like, even here. But is it really worth uh, repositioning? For that because I know it takes revenue to reposition I don't know once we get like a lot more probe locations it'll be a lot easier for me to uh you know what maybe I'll do this here is maybe what I'll do even if it's just boosting a uh... even if it's just boosting like all these three standard probes because then at least these three standard probes are doing like some decent stuff there you know it's probably not a bad idea yeah it'll be easier to like plan out our total our total probes once we have like a lot more of these locations established you know I'll be able to make a lot more complicated configurations with this okay okay let's uh let's go to Noctilum I guess this is what we shall do so I need to get to 20% Noctilum something new here trailer wreckage the little info that I heard about so wait find a spherical EM motor in Noctilum oh can I google where I can best find it Xenoblade, Chronic, or maybe I don't need to, uh, maybe I don't need to Google where to find it, per se, considering biological level one. Oh, this will help me get my, uh, stuff up. Because if I'm exploring around trying to get Noctilum up to 20% anyway, then I might just stumble on it while I'm exploring around. So, you know, oh, it's up there. So, you know, I may as well do my exploring around and bringing, oh, this is something else. I may as well do my exploring around and bringing Noctilum up to 20% first, and maybe I'll, uh, get up to it. Or maybe I'll get the item that I need by the time I've done that. Hmm. So there's a strange tree with biological level 1 over this way somewhere. That is, uh, the thing for this area, apparently. The thing to get the percentage over here. Yeah. Whoa, get my TP up. So, I see a thing on the map over this way. Is this the thing? Is this the tree? That will get my percentage in the area up? I hope this is it over here. It looks like it's probably it, right? Yeah. Yeah, so my current percentage in Noctilum is 8.42%. And once I get this area here, then 9.82%. Okay, yeah, segment recon complete. Okay. I think that the best way to be getting completion percentage around Noxlum though is going to be going around and installing more of these probes which I think that there was like a cave system that I needed to go through over here that I was getting lost in before or something huh because yeah we're gonna need Noxlum probes hmm? oh I can do this now now I can do that sweet a bunch of credits for that Oh, I should have stopped by uh, NLA, or ULA, and uh, went and simped with my Meranium for some dudos. That's a quest thing. I should have went and simped for Armors Manufacturers is what I should have done. There we go. Oh, I'm Noctilum Trail Blazing 3, so that was, the, that was the thing. What kind of information is inside? I don't know. I don't know, but something or other. My good gracious, how do I get to that, like, further in area then? This reminds me of the uh, entrance to Machina Forest in Xenoblade Chronicles 1 is what this little smidge of path kind of reminds me of. Except instead of the Spooter dudes out and about, it would be the freaking dinosaur dudes out and about is what it'd be. 
But yeah, now you really want to go to a 50s diner because of Space California here with Fry. Good old Mr. Fry that we went and did that mission with. Wait, he's yeah, he's still at the party there. He's still sticking around with us for now, is the thing. Could be a fun excursion there for sure. Oh my goodness gracious, I kind of want to avoid you guys. There's a camp here, which is nice, with a lot of spooters around. A super safe camp. I didn't say that just now that I discovered it, so I must have ran past it once before. Must have been the case. You ain't chameleon creeping plant. What a name, huh? What a name. Yeah, so there's a probe somewhere over here. I mean, I can fight it. Whatever it is. You? Sure. I can fight you. You know what? Screw it. Time to die. Time to die. Whoa, the screen's flashing like crazy now. Whoops, I'm bad at video games. Holy crap. Uh. Uh. Oh my goodness gracious, the game can't even comprehend what's going on right now. Uh. Fill up my count. I need TP right now. Oh, dang it. Whatever. I got a little bit late. Better late than never, but I don't know why my thing Rebob is going crazy right now, but, uh. Uh oh uh. Okay, um. I'm the only one alive. Is kind of the thing. <sighs> I'll try harder next year. Achievement unlocked. Okay, well. Um. Gosh darn it! Ah! Oh, man. Well, that sucks. Now I'm out of TP again. I'll build it up a little bit as I explore, I guess. Um, but yeah, funny California fact, the massive cranes of the ports in Oakland are what inspired the design of the ATATs in Star Wars. Huh, that's interesting. Or the AT-ATs. I, I just read it out as like ATATs, but I know that it's an AT-AT. <laughs> yeah, ATAT. Can't wait for the next Star Wars movie where they're like, look out, the ATATs are coming. Okay, well, let's hopefully not die by those guys again. What's this? Is it a thing that I can harvest right now, or do I need higher level skills? I wonder. Yeah, level 2 archaeological. Yeah, once we get to the next blade level, I am going to be putting it to mechanical again. Considering, uh, turns out it's not max, you know? Turns out that. Um, oh yeah, the whole Obi-Wan show thing, Rabob. May 25th, huh? Interesting. Intramisting. I don't know who John Williams is, I'm sorry to say. I'm sorry to say, but I'm not quite familiar with them. Oop. Okay. Nah, don't attack up close. I'm just getting my blood sacrifice in. This is literally all I'm doing. Okay, so it should be like right around the corner over around here, right? Right? So somewhere around this way. Somewhere it should be. No? Wait. There's no way it's like up there or something, unless it's like in a cave. Because this is like the very edge of this area, is the thing. Um. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. So a lot of famous things then. Jeez. Done a lot of work and a lot of things in that case. Whoa. Gosh darn it. Huh. Whoops. No. 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 To well, there goes Fry. There he goes. It might actually be way up above. It might be one of those ones that you might only be able to get after getting Skell Flight. Maybe, maybe. Huh. Oh, sweet. Wait, I found it. I think. It says that I have. It says I found the FN site. Oh, right there. Oh. Uh. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Uh. Come on, the thing's right over there. I'm so far from you, what do you want from me? Oh my goodness, the lag, because it's compiling shaders since it's the first time that we've ever been here before. Oh, thank goodness. I just want to have, like, overdrive at the ready in case we ever need it for a battle, you know. Just in case. Yeah, so you'll attack me if you see me. Assuming you just don't see me, or I just get this in, like, super fast. You're sleeping, right? Heck yeah! Sweet! So I'm at 10.52% now. 
Okay. We're getting there. Whoa. Yeah, I guess it's compiling shaders. Okay, getting there. Getting there bit by bit here. Whoa. No. Aw, oh, man. Oh, well. Oh, well. Yeah, I'll try to get this Noctilum percentage up. Look at you guys. So maybe I'll make my way over to this probe here. Set a course this way. Set a course west. Is what I shall do. Get a bunch of Noctilum probes. Because I guess the next story mission is going to be taking place in Noctilum in that case. Must be the case. Yeah, I'm not finding one of these spherical EM motors. I'm really hoping that I experienced Pioneer. I'm really hoping that I ran into it randomly while I'm trying to get this completion percentage anyway. It'll be really nice. None of these flowers are alive, are they? That one probably is. I see it floating. It's out of the ground already. Oh, I'm at 3 out of 6 on whatever that is for some other quest. Nice. Very, very nice. Yeah, I'll keep going this way. I gotta avoid a lot of the enemies around these parts. Oh, can I not jump onto that? Ah! I gotta be so close, though. Come on. Oh, it's over here. Yeah, let's avoid all those guys who want to kill me, preferably. That would be nice. If I could just avoid them. Okay, they're not seeing me. They're not seeing me, at least. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I give you a wide berth and... Hmm. They're all around. You better not attack me. You better not. Okay, I don't think you are. Which is very, very good. Very, very good indeed. Zandemo eggplant. The power of the Zandemo. Okay, that's not quite close enough to Monado, I guess. I swear, whenever I play Fire Emblem Three Houses, I see Zanado. I just think it's the power of the Zanado. Instead of Monado. Oh, sweet. Cool. Um, but that one wasn't quite close enough to quite make it. All right, 12.63%. We're getting there. So maybe this one next? Um, ah, I can get treasure over here, mechanical level one. And that'll fill up that thing. So, like, that is this way, I think it said? Whoa. Yeah, so if we go over this way... So there'll be a level one mechanical wreckage over here that we uh, found out about from rumors in NLA or ULA. And uh, if we harvest it, then we should get that segment done for our recon. Come on. Yes. Yes. Is it this? Oh, it's got to be that. It's got to be that, right? Can I jump this? Oh, thank goodness. Oh, that was a little bit sketchy sketch. Okay, it's got to be this, right? Come on. Yes. There we go. Sweet. Oh, I got another mining probe, G1. I know where I can put that. Right down over this away in my big cluster of mining probe G1s. That's what I can do. Like this. Eight chain effect. Nice. Mining total is now 15. 15k. Which is more than my storage. I mean, my storage will go back up to 15k once I, uh, Put down the storage probe again. Change probe. Okay, storage probe. Okay. So now my, uh... Yeah, my cap of Meranium down there is 15k. But I'm making almost 15k per tick now. Huh. Let's actually... You no, know I'm gonna increase my storage even more. There's gotta be a place where I can make a group of my three storage probes at this point, right? There's got to be. Where's my third one? Where'd I put it? Oblivia, maybe? Maybe I put it in Oblivia? Uh, it must be Caldros then, right? It must be Caldros in that case. Where'd I put my last storage probe? What the heck? Like... Where's my last one? It must be Silvalum then, right? It has to be. Hmm? What? Where did I put my last storage probe? Hold on. I just checked Silvalum. I don't know why I'm checking it again here. It's got to be like Primordia or something, right? Oh, there it is. Okay, there it is. So, somewhere in like Noctilum here, I should now have a group of three. Oh. 
do I just have the five G2s or do I have more? I have a lot more G2s. I can take a couple G2s and put them over here now is what I could also do. Like, let's see here. Where are my other G2s? Let's yoink two of my G2s from wherever they might be. Because we can make an even greater chain there. Go even further beyond. Okay, I don't have a whole lot in silver in general. Um... Okay, yeah, well, sorry. Sorry, man. Yeah, sorry, you're missing the chain effect there now. I don't know if it's gonna be more moving this stuff over here by increasing the chain here or what, but I'm doing it anyway. Like, cause that seems pretty spicy. Okay, so I need somewhere else for my group of three of uh, storage probes then. That's what I need. That's a group of two. If only these two attached. Um, I know that there's the, I'm, I mean, I know that there's the one in Silvalum here that I'm, you know, not using. So yeah, screw, I will. In that case, let's see here. Let's get the three chain effect of storage probes in that case. That's what we shall do. And this should help out my storage situation. And I'll put that, uh... You know, those research probes don't get any adjacency thing where it's just a group of two instead of like a group of three. So now my new Meranium total storage is 17k. Now I can hold 17k. And I'm making 14.5k each time. Huh. Okay. Okay. Not, not bad, huh? Not bad, right? And I can add more G2 probes to the group over here if I get some more in this chain. So let's go down over here first. That's what we'll do. So kind of the direction I'm facing right now. And a little bit more this way. Because I still have... Whoa! Whoa! Okay, uh... Because I still have two more mining probe G2s that I can add. So if I do that, then that should be pretty nice, right? Oh, I gotta go, like, way down and around for that one, don't I? Jeez. Well, <laughs> well, yoink. Hey, silly doogie. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, let's head on down. How about? There we go. Yeah, so I got to climb all the way around here. Because, yeah, we can bring up the meranium harvest to even greater heights if we have like all of our g2 probes together we already have all of our g1 probes together in primordia so if we can get all of our g2 probes together in noctilum that will be pretty nice i do have to admit that would be very quite nice hopefully you guys don't care too much about me coming through i obtained everfreeze or did i pick it up without noticing or was it something that was mined I guess if it was something that was mined, it would happen during, like, one of the whole ticks, right? Oh, come on. Don't tell me I need up there. Wait. Ah, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, man. Oh, come on. Yes, okay. Okay, I'm up here. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go now. Oh, boy. Yeah, I think a whole lot of exploration should definitely be saved for after I get the skull. <laughs> should definitely be the case. I mean, I do have to survey a bunch of Noctilum before I, uh, before I can do the next chapter anyway. So this is a, this is a requirement at this point. But, you know. Before the next story chapter, we should probably be... Oh, nice. Another progress thing there. We should be able to have skills before that point. The Cascade Isle View. Interesting. No! Wait. Is it from here, actually? Is it not from this side here? Uh oh Seems like you guys aren't actually hitting me, though. Oh, crud. Maybe I don't actually need to be up here and I can drop down and go to that other one. Please don't see me. Wait, no. This uh, this is that other one that I saw. Because it leads up to here? Or am I losing my mind? 
but this does lead to the uh the thing oh so maybe the thing is at like a lower level then because it's this whole lower section and i didn't have to go up above at all maybe yeah i think it's this whole uh this whole lower section over here yeah it's gotta be right somewhere over here there's no way it's up there right i mean it might be but oh it's over there okay okay yes also before i forget i should continue to do that here and there just so that i'm prepared if if the need arises oh so this uh this water here isn't very good is it if it's damaging me not very good at all yeah, fn site 209 route 209 heck yeah there we go 15.08 percent okay this one next or maybe i fast travel up to here and go across there because that one might be higher up to where i can't actually get it yet you know okay i'm taking these things out what's this um enemy gen streaks of the serene subcategory so that's gonna be a i need to take out a tyrant for that one in that case so let's see here i'm taking these out their use is done oops i guess i didn't need to switch around like that not necessarily so let's see here so oh this isn't actually attached though this isn't linked it must be linked like that oh Huh, maybe I should have checked that first before I took out those other those other two probes. Huh. I mean, it could be in this lower level. That's what it could always be. Huh. Yeah, really quickly check what's in here. Like, I assume that would be on the upper level rather than the lower level, but I'll check in here anyway. That's what I'll do. Vitriol cesspool. Is this that one cave that had that one super strong enemy with like the super strong blade at the end that i uh made one of my builds of back in the day oh it is isn't it there's like a there's like a tunnel around here somewhere it's that it's that there's an enemy at the end of that that has like a super strong weapon but it's like something that you should only be taking on in end game i think or not end game but post game i think if i'm remembering correctly i think am i remembering things correctly here i don't really want to go and you know check it and uh you know use up all my tp you know i'm fairly certain this is it i'm pretty sure this is where you get one of the best blades in the game it's from a dudo that's back here no did i go down the wrong one or maybe i didn't and it's just like at the end of yeah it is isn't it because it's down this way now or something okay well i don't necessarily need to be down here right now there's probably not a massive ton i can do down here at the moment so let's go over here for now